I love all these what like swords it? being flung Where is she? the tower. Yeah, I know, it's so great. I am providing the heavy artillery. <laughs> Look, all I can see is Pixel's swords just flying <laughs> through the air. It's just so yeah. funny. <laughs>
Um, and so the island is actually going to be relatively large and gets into a little bit of a fun theme that we're going to be doing with this sort of island building. So for each island, we're going to have kind of a big main island. And then for smaller offshoot mods that we're not necessarily going to explore a ton of, we'll have smaller islands that are connected up by physical bridges that are kind of all dotted around the sky. And I think we're going to dot around the sky like in this direction. Uh, so we don't take up the sky of spawn. I don't want to build up over here. So we're going to stick to this kind of biome area because not anybody else is really building and it's a decent sized biome. So think like we're going to expand kind of in this general direction, maybe even over here, kind of expand out over here. Um, it just kind of depends on how much we truly are going to be expanding. But as I said, there's going to be big islands and small islands. And there's something about the big islands that I want to incorporate that I think is going to be super fun. And that is incorporating some immersive portals. Now, a good way to showcase immersive portals is via this area here. So I've been working off camera on this area for a little bit. And uh, originally we had our waystone up at the top of the hill there. Whoop, there goes a sword um, up at the top of the hill there. And while that is all well and good, I had an idea originally for the thumbnail for this uh, episode where we got this sword last episode. Um, and so I started building out this area purely for a thumbnail. And I was just gonna make it like an interesting thing that if you found it, you found it and it's cool and all that. But then it gave me an idea and it boy did it expand beyond that uh so what we are going to be doing now this is going to be the hub area for where you spawn in now the reason it's going to be here now this is going to be blocked off so imagine this is going to be all a wall and stuff um and so you're going to have this you're going to kind of spawn in here and you're going to have four different options to go to so we're going to have like four main big islands i think um, and then if we can even get to that. Um, and so each one of these doorways is going to be a immersive portal that takes you up to said island. And so this is going to be kind of like our hub area where we can get, get from island to island rather quickly without having to actually make giant bridges or anything like that. Uh, it'll just make it a more easily accessible experience um, while also experimenting with mods and making it fun. Um, Another cool thing that we're going to do is we're going to have immersive portals in the walls to do this. So what you're looking at currently is actually the sky. And if we fly, woo, looky there. Look at that. We are super high. There is no portal that you can actually see, but there is a portal that is underground that leads out of the earth into the sky just immediately. So if you look at our, let's take a look at our Y level. So currently we're at 72, boom, 150 or 30 or whatever. And that is the power of immersive portals. It makes for such a fun experience. And what I'm thinking for this, I had an idea. Uh, originally I was gonna make this all a sky biome area and thought that that could be really cool, but I've experimented more in a creative world and this while a very cool idea and I love the concept would be really difficult to pull off because you can't really control what side an immersive portal is going to be looking at like I or at least I don't think you can. Um, so it'd be really difficult to make all sides this sort of floating cloud texture and then they also would not connect up very well. We're going to need to have corner blocks here uh, to make it feel uh, you know a little bit better to make it feel like one seamless picture. So I've been experimenting and um, I have an idea that I think is gonna be really fun. I'm not gonna spoil it because it's pretty cool. It's gonna take a little bit of grinding to do, but just be prepared. I think we're gonna try and tackle this room here soon, um, but this is, the, this is what we're going for. And also, if you're wondering, this is actually a pretty big uh, area here. So I've got this kind of just interesting floating uh spire thing uh and you'll never see this ever probably um but i thought it was kind of interesting to do nonetheless and so what we're going to be working on is i think uh either either this one or this one it doesn't really matter where it goes um one of these we're going to open up into actually being a portal to an island but in order for us to do an island we need resources and 
I do actually have a fair amount of stone on us. I do not think that, where is it? Ah, oh, here it is it's in our backpack. I do not think that I have enough. So we've got that amount of stone, some cobblestone, and then a full thing of cobblestone. I don't think that's going to be enough, but who knows? I do want to add in variants of like mossy cobble as well. Um, and then maybe some cobblestone brick. I don't know. Um, just to add a little bit of texture variation, because when you're building islands that are floating in the sky, probably better to do them, uh, do the texture variation as you go. Now, some of you may be wondering, how in the world are you flying? You don't have wings. Well, I do have wings on. I just have them hidden. And I bet this actually kind of looks pretty interesting when you're flying. And you don't. Oh, gosh. And you don't have wings on. Yeah, I'm just Superman. That's actually hilarious. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so we fought the Ender Dragon. Uh, and so while we do a little bit of a time lapse here build, we're going to bleed into a time lapse, but we're also going to do the end fight. Um, and I think y'all are going to enjoy it. It was a fun time. This sword is so OP. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. Uh, this sword is so OP considering you can do infinite blades and it really doesn't degrade it. Uh, and so that's pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and get to building resource gathering and whatnot uh, for this build. Also do a little bit of level grinding. And while I am doing that, y'all can go ahead and enjoy the end dragon content that I've got for ya. All right, guys, we got to go kill a dragon. <laughs> Winter, I'm putting my beer down. I'm putting my beer down and I'm going to punch you. <laughs> <laughs> right. We need to go fight a dragon, guys. Not not a dragon. The dragon. The dragon. The dragon. Let's Isn't go. Isn't he, like, weak and stuff? Bear with me. The portals are expanding a long ways. Bear, so bear it, with me. It'll it'll be Sorry. slow to, uh, to load up, but it will load up. Woo! Give me that. What's with oh oh, oh a portals over here? I haven't yep. been on the server in so <gasps> long. Oh wow, just, this is crazy. It, we just have to wait for it to load because it's a it's a <gasps> long distance. No, th this is not a portal. This is like a long tunnel. This is that's cool. why that's true. So that's true. We're we're actually it's you know this my entire mm -hmm. house fits in that thing we saw. Yep. Wow. It's just so big it takes a moment. And then this is a, on the another, another portal? Should, should oh, wow. I be feeling nauseous? I do feel a little bit nauseous. Where's the portal gone? Hey, it's our Torbjorn. Be sure not to jump off the sides. <laughs> oh my gosh, the end portal is crazy! I mean, wait, what? Look at it! Whoa! Oh. Now, if, if you're very careful, get on the sides and look down the sides. You, it's, it's, that's the trippiest part. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 oh, Nefers! No. Oh, no. Nefers! Oh, no. You guys didn't set a spawn! No, we didn't! <laughs> Alright, everyone else, click a bed, set your spawn. I need my food. There's also a waystone. Kaffers has it. Uh, well, quickly. I guess we're fighting the ender dragon. Yeah, set, yep. set your spawn, grab the waystone. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, it's so crazy! Oh, look, there she is! There she zero is! Frames. Way. Oh, I see yeah. crash. Come on. Art can't handle all these people going through portals. Yeah. This was so quick already fighting. I'm gonna climb this <laughs> like a spider. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, no, 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 Endermang, Endermang, Endermang. I need food. Oh, this one's already taken care of. Yeah, I think that's, that's all of them. I think they're all good. All right, let's kill that dragon. Okay. That's what I've been doing all this time. Yes. No, accident. It was an accident, sir. Don't punch me. <laughs> aim for the head. Aim for the head. Ooh, I we're costing levels to go across me. dimensions. I love all these, like, That's swords it. being flung over <laughs> the tower. Yeah, I know. It's so great. I am providing the heavy artillery. <laughs> my bow is too powerful. I keep missing. I am climbing a tower with my spider feet. <laughs> Your spider feet. Spider winter, spider winter. It's spider bear. <laughs> don't, spider shoot, bear. don't accidentally shoot winter because you will get killed by Vex. <laughs> yes, you will. Can I, I need winter, dragon's breath, dragon. Winter. Lay some lay some Ooh. stuff down. Oh yeah, I brought bottles with me. I yeah, here some. we go, here we go. This sword is probably the most ridiculous because doing oh, this no, costs me. no durability. Wait. 
Really? That's so there. funny. I should be totally invisible. <laughs> yeah, I got some dragon's breath. Get oh, as much as you can, Winter. Right. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Oh, I'm getting yeah. all of it for me. <laughs> yeah, Winter never shares his dragon breath. We know this. <laughs> that's a that's a that's now a canonical thing. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Look, all I can see is Pixel's swords just flying <laughs> through the air. It's just so yeah. funny. <laughs> Fantastic. To be fair, that you sword have, is like, so badass. I can't. Aim, I have to like aim like twelve it's feet perching, in front it's of perching. It's perching. Okay. <laughs> Everybody, get in the center <laughs> portal. We're oh, gonna it's aim you. for its head. Yes, 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 yes. Let's get it. No, I need your breath. You're so loud. Yes, here yes. we go. Breath, 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 breath. We're so gonna far. get him. Oh, oh no, Enderman, oh, Enderman, oh, Enderman, oh, Enderman. Oh, Enderman. Oh, the swords. That's <laughs> not like thirty. <laughs> oh. I keep I getting at least hit. By get hit it. <laughs> I still haven't managed to hit the uh, the dragon this time. I think I've hit it, but I'm not you sure. Did you did it! Free the air! Before you killed it! Yay! I, I got it! I got I it! That XP. I need this XP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let Art have it. No, I think so it's loud. Even, Make it rain! I'm pretty sure it's evenly split amongst everyone in multiplayer. Hang what on, are you doing, let, Pixel? Let, let me equip the cloud. Hang on. I can't, Hang on. I can't attack him because he just teleported away. Winner. Winner, where are you? Hold on, Pixel needs some help. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, Why are we going to this stuff then? Because um, I don't... There you go. <gasps> because this Thank is you. pretty good stuff. y'all i have been doing a lot of building and um ended up doing pretty much actually doing all of the building of the actual build uh in that time lapse so hopefully it turned out well i tried to be better about moving the camera but there it is look at our random box in the sky now it is two 
awesome floating little islands. That one kind of looks like a shark tooth. I think it looks really, really cool. Now, you may be wondering, how do you get up there? I mean, yeah, we have Elytra and stuff, but that's kind of a nuisance. Um, well, as I had said, I uh, there is a uh, this whole portal room concept that we kind of had discussed. And uh, I've decided to go ahead and just do that. Um, it's not difficult at all uh, because I was going to do it on camera with you, but then I figured it's just as easy to simply explain it. So we have these portals here and I showed this one. Um, you've got those portal maker blocks that you just craft. It's one for one. Uh, one obsidian equals one of those. Um, and so then what you do is you essentially you just make a portal however big you want. I think it can only be as big as a nether portal can get. Um, and then, oh, that's cool. You can actually see the island. That's actually really cool. I didn't even think about that, but that's actually that's super cool. Um, <clears throat> so you just make a portal that is as big. So I put one right here where you can see this gap, this uh, sort of dividing line. Um, made a portal here and then made one on the on top of this island, uh, the one that you can see right there, that smaller one. And it's the exact same size. And when you light it, they sync up. Now you have to make sure that you're facing the correct direction. Uh, so that's why I chose this one because I put the island on this side. So because if you look at this, we're entering on this side. So if you enter this way, you're going to be facing this direction because that's how how nether portals work is whatever direction you're facing, you're still facing it when you take the portal. So you have to consider that. Uh, and so I decided to make it up this door this way. So we kind of go diagonally, but we're still facing the same direction. Hopefully that makes sense. But if we go through, oh, it's so cool. No lag or anything. You just kind of appear. It's such a cool mod. I absolutely love it. And so this is what the, the this is going to end up being. We're going to have a portal thing here, a portal hit thing here. And then this eventually will be closed off and match each one of these. And then this entire room, boy, do I have a plan for it. I think it's going to be really cool. Uh, there's going to it's going to be like a portal portal, a portal room with portalception happening. It's going to be really interesting if I can pull it off. But if we go through here now, we're up here and I think it's Oh, it's so cool. So just briefly around here, Al, um, just has a little bit of some trees and stuff. Just made a I wanted to make a separate island to be able to connect up because I didn't want the portal to take up any room uh, where this build was going to go because I was not sure how big this was going to be. Now, this is a different approach to our build that is down there. A little bit different approach, but similar style. Um, this is maybe more upper class or higher just level of building, but still very much in line with what we've got going down there. And so instead, because it's off of the ground, uh, you have a thatch roof instead, which is actually using thatch, which is really cool. Um, and then wood supports and stuff. And I decided to do this kind of uh, stone support structure. Uh, up here and I think it looks really really cool um, and makes uh, makes a fair amount of sense um, for this as they laid a stone foundation um, and it's kind of almost got a Japanese feel with the uh, cherry blossom trees going on and the bamboo I kind of liked what that looked like um, and so yeah I'm very happy but what are we do using this building for well it's going to be storage so that's all that's going to be up here. I brought my cockatrice friend up here because this is uh, the replacement cockatrice. If there's still no name for him, I'm not really sure what to name him. But uh, if you have an idea, let me know. But this is going to be purely for storage. And so the idea is we're going to be having some form of big storage system set up in this area here. Now, I don't need like a monstrous amount. Now, you may be wondering how in the world are you going to make storage that is fitting for that area without you and we're not going to be using like chests and stuff and what I want to use are these spruce two by two things um, and so if we get a few planks let's just plop that in there uh, if we get a few planks in here we can then craft up a ton of these and probably just go with all of them there's 40 we have tons tons and tons of these that we can make because we have tons of chests I just went overkill um, and essentially what I want to do is just line this entire room with these. And then we're going to have a controller set up 
to be able to then just access all of them. And I think it's going to be really cool. All right. So now that that's all done, I've got them kind of in place. Uh, the biggest, most tedious part is about to happen. Now, I'm going to have to do some finagling a bit uh, with how these are positioned. I think I'm going to have to make more of these store these drawer controllers as well. Um, and yeah, we're just going to figure out how to best do this. Uh, and I may have to mess actually with the back portion here uh, to figure out how to work in the pipes and stuff, because there I may just have to shove these in a little bit and have less storage in a sense. But that's not that big of a deal. Uh, what we're doing is the refined storage mod, and it is a pretty big pain. Um, so essentially, you need things like the controller. We're going to need the so we're going to need the controller. We're going to need the uh, craft the grid crafting grid. Um, we are going to need all sorts of stuff in order to do this. If we fly over here, this is KB and Justin's place. And you should you guys should definitely check them out. If you like technical stuff, um, they are your uh, people to go to. So this is what we're essentially going for a big storage area for all types of items. And as I thought, I think we're going to have to have a drawer controller for all of these, but essentially all of these hook up to this little crafting grid monitor here and is stored here. And this is awesome. You can search it and stuff and it's just really, really cool. But what we're gonna need is we're gonna need to make this. I'm sure there's a controller underneath. We're gonna need to make a few more of those which aren't too difficult. We're gonna need, what is this doohickey? Oh, that's a player head. That's a camera. Oh, that's funny. It's like a security camera. But for now, I think this is what we're going to go for. Um, this is show number four's little storage area that he's made. And I think this is a good starting point for us to get into. I think maybe the refined storage might be a bit too much for this episode, considering how much <laughs> how much building has been done. So I'm going to do the painful job of sorting through all of our chests and then reorganizing everything up there to hopefully then have a more centralized storage area that is organized and we can get all of these chests out and then we could actually make this build a little bit more homey and we don't need this grass there. Uh, and so let me go ahead and do that because boy howdy is that gonna take a long time and then I'll be back. All right, so I have organized everything and still got a good amount to do and things may change around, but I've done a little alteration as well to the front, uh, still a few things missing, but overall I think it's pretty good and so far I, I'm liking how it's turning out. So initially we just had this side entrance right there and uh, I decided to go ahead and make it dual leveled so we have an entrance here and then I actually made this dip down so we have quite a bit more room for storage and I think this is actually going to be really really nice. And so we have room to expand but what I'm really wanting to do eventually is to just really dig deep into the refined storage mod to really just make a big computer system essentially. Uh, to where we can have this visually appealing place with all these things looking like they're filled up and stuff. But then I would love to be able to just have kind of like a monitor right here that we access legitimately everything. And it could even extend like into the island itself. I think that could be really nice. Uh, so we have like a visually appealing little place. Um, this is also the second story. Uh, and so we've got this is primary stones and stuff. And we definitely have way more storage than we currently have items. So no problem storing things. Um, and I'm what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to let's see if I can get up here and then up here and then flip, flip that down. What I'm going to be doing is putting these individual ones uh, to house more items um, up here. So cobblestone, stone, andesite, granite, diorite, etc. All the main stones. Uh, and then I think I want to transition that all the way around. And if anything, it makes a nice design aesthetic having a border of dark oak up top. I just ran out of dark oak, so I don't have any. Um, right now to finish it off 
but I'm very happy with this. I think this is a much better solution now. Everything has been moved in uh, and organized at least a bit. Um, now, as I said, there are some things. The, the purpose of this is not even necessarily to... I don't even think it's really to be able to access things. Right now, it's for accessing things more easily. But at the in the long term, I'm thinking it's just going to be a nice visual aesthetic uh, because there will be the mo the crafting monitor that we will do everything from. Uh, and that's kind of where I want to get either next episode or in a couple episodes. So that all said, I think I'm going to have to call it for this episode because one, this uh, video is going to be a day late. Um, but two, this has just been absolutely an insane, insane build. And um, yeah, there's just uh, definitely just a lot that has happened. Uh, this build in itself, the island and everything took at least, I think, five hours to do. And then everything on top of the storage and stuff is also had to be done. But that's going to have to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. And... Let me know what you think of everything, because boy howdy, was this a lot of work. But thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, bye bye